In this video, we'll walk you through how to unbox and set up your Needin 9 pick and place machine. Start by removing the outer screws along the bottom and top of the crate. Next, remove the black screws from the brackets along the outside of the lid of the crate. Once removed, carefully remove the lid. Continue removing the black screws on either side of the front of the crate before carefully removing the front panel. Then remove the remaining three sides as one piece. Be sure to have someone help you while removing this, as it could be too heavy and awkward to remove on your own. Separate the bottom layer of plastic from the protective cover before removing the cover and foam altogether. The monitor box is secured to the front of the machine. In this box, you'll find your monitor, keyboard, mouse, and spare cables. The accessory package can be found on the opposite side of the machine. In this, you'll find your monitor mount, toolbox, certification, keyboard mount, and emergency light. The feet of the machine are secured by through bolts, which will need to be removed. A forklift is recommended to lift the machine off the pallet. Orient the machine so that the forks can enter from the side. Slowly lift the machine with the forks before removing the pallet. If you need to reposition the machine, raise the feet and the machine will come down on its wheels. Once you've reached its final position, lower the feet enough to raise the wheels off the floor and level the machine. Once on the ground, remove the tape securing both of the doors to free them up. Open the front door and remove the cover on the camera towards the front of the machine. Remove the moisture pack located near the back of the machine. Grease covers can be found along the rails of the machine. Make sure to remove all of them. Remove the zip tie securing the placement head to the back of the machine and ensure it can move freely by manually moving it gently in all directions. The emergency light found in your accessory package is fed through the hole on the top of the machine. 
The light is then connected to the 4-pin connector just inside the machine under the light. Attach the keyboard mount to the front of the machine just below the emergency stop. The monitor mount can then be attached just above the emergency stop before attaching the monitor itself. All of these can be attached using the screws provided in the toolbox that comes with your machine in the accessory package. The keyboard and mouse plug into the USB ports on the front of the machine, while the monitor is connected by the cables located on the front of the machine. Connect your air compressor to the push style connector located on the back of the machine next to the power cable. See the product specification sheet for production air requirements. Once connected, you can plug in the power cable attached to the machine. Turn the power switch on the front of the machine to the on position and your machine will power on and start to initialize. Confirm the pre-installed program launches on your monitor and you're ready to go. Here at Neodin USA, we inspect and quality check every machine before they're shipped to you, our loyal customers. We strive for the utmost consistency and convenience and offer multiple forms of general and technical support upon purchase. Visit our website to learn more about our products or contact us with any questions or concerns you may have. We hope you enjoy your brand new machine from Neodin USA.